Trump. They came to sound the alarm for what they say is an unprecedented assault on freedom. Sunday's rally at the Vancouver Art Gallery was the second this weekend. Since the movement first emerged in the summer, they've grown both in numbers and intensity, certain that they're being lied to by the government and misrepresented by the media. There's no neo-Nazi thing going on here. This is all people, yeah, sure, some of them might like Trump. Usually people that like Trump fall in line with anti-masking, freedom rallies, stuff like that. It's not a pandemic. This man claimed to have sensitive knowledge that few in the working press seem to know about. It's a shadow government that's doing it. What shadow government? You don't know about the shadow government? No. Okay, if you haven't heard of the Illuminati? One of the big points a lot of people here want to make is that we, the news media, are part of the problem. They say we're fake news, we're controlled by the federal government and Bill Gates. Here's what they say when we walk in there. Fake news. You guys lie all the time. I'm from Eastern Bloc and I can tell you I can smell fake news. Everything what you guys are doing is manipulating the public. Why are you wearing a mask? What are you afraid of? Because you're harming your health. How am I harming my health? Wearing a mask is unhealthy. The fake lying news to people. Eventually they started to block our cameras and finally gathered together to make this point about how they feel they're being covered. Bonnie Henry's a public seal. Responsible. You lie about everything. We you lie about the protest ended with a march down Robson Street. Vancouver police didn't report any problems. In Vancouver, Paul Johnson, Global News.